All right, guys, and welcome along to Gamescom, the first officially released gameplay footage. It was uh, hosted by Lars Malcherik and Kenneth Burgess. Let's get into it. Right then. Well, they opened up talking about a few new features and then they just got kind of straight into it here with the vine harvester that big new holland it is cool to see how it moves the way that it raises up i don't know if you saw that at the start that might have cut the video a little bit too tight i thought this would be good to show you some actual moving clips i spent the morning uh chopping it up so i can see some bits going down <laughs> it does look cool there's a lot going on with this but the detailing again it is fantastic and brings it back and i think he actually crashes here just to highlight the fact that they have collisions on yeah there you go yeah <laughs> but it seems easy enough to line up though just under the right foot well sort of bit it's not too bad i think we can manage this one and this is where it unloads but looking at the grass as well can you see the car whizzed past the ai traffic has really sped up they've improved the collision detection and obviously that means increasing speed everything goes faster <laughs> but i got this bit just to see it unload i think that looks cool and that's quite the little beast isn't it <laughs> that's clever doing a harvester for grapes <laughs> and we get the uh tanty new trailer there is an old track there i've got some screenshots of that bad boy later on i've got quite the collection now but this is cool i'm not sure exactly how he did it He selected the side somehow, but up a next cover. Ha ha! There we go. A little bit of studying all works. Hmm. You can only choose the side, can't you? Toggle tip side. Hmm. Well, this bit is for the gears. Look at that. Let's have a uh, took the sound off because we're doing a lot of talking over it. But it's very impressive. I do recommend watching this stream. Uh, the link is in the description. I should have said that early on, really. Dear! Look at that! There's another one as well. It's to the right. There we go. Makes a bolt for it. They look cool. They look really cool. I'm impressed. It, it, it just adds a bit more to it, doesn't it? See the crows flying off. Now we've got deer. Uh, I got this bit just to look at the part of the bottom there. Start overloading grapes. The new graphics, that blue tint does look so good. And we've got a new fault lift. These are just little clips that I thought were interesting. Might take an S I do like these little flowers popping up in the grass. Just make it look a bit more lifelike. And I got this mainly for the trailer. That little trailer looks so cool. And there's an interesting reaction. Sorry. There's an interesting little reaction to it with the trailer door, the back door. When he drives on it, watch this. How it bends. How cool is this? Yeah, he kind of bends it around. Look at that. It's not just a solid thing. There's a bit of flex in there. That's cool. <laughs> I got this next clip because there's a little yellow car that comes flying past him. Ah, he did change them PDA. Minimap. Or did it change because he started driving instead of walking? All will become clear. Look at that. Nyong. <laughs> Go so fast. And this bit's where they show off the new rendering. Look how good that wall looks. I can't remember how to pronounce it off the top of my head. But that does look really cool. It's only going to be a short video, this one, guys. Maybe some more information out yet. There was talk of more secrets to be told. Fingers crossed. And this is just unloading the great pallet for Ian straps them. I don't know if that has to be a thing. But I don't know what difficulty they're playing on, but you get a nice bit of cash for this. Eats them away nicely. There we go. Gets rid of the pallet. job's good and then we get round to the pruner i like this look at the hoses on the side it's only a little fan 
I don't know it's the sprayer this part, not the pruner. The pruner's on the front of it though. I said this I'm sure this sprayer has been modded in before, but to have giants do it and put it in a base game, that's cool. Because if it's in the base game, it's easier for the modders to build upon. Because we can all access it and tweak it. Oh, how good does that combine look? I really like the way the particles are working. I don't know if the earth's maybe a little bit too dark. It kind of looks damp, doesn't it? Or maybe it is damp. We do have seasons now. But you'd imagine the harvester wouldn't be happy about harvesting it if there was moisture content. I don't know. That could be a, a current seasons thing rather than a giant seasons thing. But it does look very good. And then you get new header animations as well. They've tidied all them up. I think they look really impressive. What do you guys think? Stick in the comments what you think. If you've, had a look, if you've watched the proper stream as well. New ground textures. It looks good. Really covers it up, doesn't it? <laughs> and this is the interesting part. I wanted to see the discs and cultivate a difference. We haven't yet been shown that. Well, maybe we can pull it apart. But this is for the stones, highlighting those. They just seem to pop up every so often, look. Maybe it's a random chance. But yeah, look how good the textures look there. Ah, oh, that's cool. I think it's, is it parallax occlusion? I don't know why that's coming to mind, but it does look so cool. It really makes them stand out when they get onto the stone picking with the Elho Scorpio. Very cool. And the animations on the front of it as well. That does look good. So even though we don't have dynamic terrain, it's, it's looking impressive. Ah, this is not the best cut I've ever done, is it? This is slowing, sh showing slurry on the ground. Catch peak. Look at it there when it comes in right. That looks good. I think that looks brilliant. Then we get around to the little pruning gadget. And this is uh, the grapes regrow as long as you prune them. So I'm thinking if you don't prune them, they don't regrow. I don't know whether that means they're completely dead or if you prune them after that, they'll grow back. Maybe you're bugging the game, something we can explain. <laughs> but if you're playing seasons, though, you would possibly struggle. Anyway, we've got some uh, little slideshows to show you now. Let's have a look at those. Yeah, I'm thinking the game is looking good. For me, it's an improvement. I mean, 19's in impressive anyway from where we started off. I think this is moving it along to that next level and expanding the features. It's all about the features now. I think the game looks good enough. Now it's for down to the gameplay. And I think Giants are going to give us something good here. Let's start off with, I think this is just a cool little picture. I think this was uh, very early on in their presentation. But there's just so much going on. They've added a lot more trees. It's to do with uh, boosting the render distances and keeping the frame rates high. I've been fortunate enough to have a half decent computer, so it's not really affected me so much. But for lower spec ones, like watching it on the kids, seeing theirs FPS jump around and it struggle ever so often, it's uh, yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be a step forward. And I like the lighting better, it seems to be a little brighter under the trees. This 19 was a little dark at times, I don't know if that's map makers tweaking it or just the way it is. There is a mod out there you can mess around with it, and I'm going to play with it if I can remember what it is. Oh, uh, advanced controls, I think. It's on the mod hub. I will invest in my gate. But yeah, I think that's a really cool picture. It highlights things. Yeah. Moving along, we have the broad 9070L. Just the way it's put together. That is a really cool model. And I like the technical side of that. That's a very clever machine to do what it does. Very, very clever. I wonder how many grapes it actually busts. <laughs> during and a half minutes. I bet that gets in the right state. Very cool. And then we get to the steer, the 8150. Another classic tractor. So that's an old John Deere, an old Massey, now an old steer we've got in here. Plus we've also got the Case 1455 and the old New Holland Ford. It was around the border, wasn't it? 
Um, the old Deutz as well, that you used to start off with, I think 17, 15. We've had that Deutz around a long time. So we do have maybe at least six old tractors. There's the Bure as well, the yellow and green beast. I wonder if that'll make a comeback. There's a lot of potential here for an older series. But as well as the older tractors, it would be nice to see some older implements. We've seen that old baler. That does the small bale, small square bales. Is there going to be any more? Or is that where the model going to have to wait for the models to come out? Sorry, having the old tractors, but we need the old gear with them as well. Time will tell. I think they said the... Uh... Oh, I can't remember what they call them now, but they release pictures of the in vehicles and games. Fact sheets. Is it fact sheets, Giants, Carmen? It could be. <laughs> but they're starting in September, so we've got from today three days. 29th, 30th, 31st. Four days. Four days. Wednesday. I'm recording this on Saturday. So, yeah, Wednesday, we should start seeing fact sheets. That's going to be awesome. Inside as well. Yeah. And he did highlight the fact that the sounds in this one, she does sound good. Really good. Especially with the manual gears. Uh, even in an auto mode. Is it going through them? Oh. <laughs> As, I think there's going to be a lot of happy people with these the gear sounds and the way this it feels alive now. Sounds it as well. It's, oh, I'm going to be one of them. I'm happy already. <laughs> I've rewatched this clip quite a few times. <laughs> but it's looking good. It is looking good, guys. And then we get the production chains. Now, I don't know if I spotted this before, but you have to activate the sucker. So, like, here, you could make raisins or grape juice. They both just use grapes when it's inside the particular the grape processing unit. But you have to choose which one you want to make. I don't think you can make them both at the same time. Didn't show that. Could be a thing. But, yeah, cool. So, it's not going to do anything until you tell it to. That's quite nice. Especially for making uh, the recipes. Because obviously if you put stuff in there and it starts firing it out, by the time you get the rest of the recipe in there, you're not going to have any of this particular ingredient. So it makes sense. But again, it's just a nice touch. It's one of those oversights when you come back to it and go, ah. <laughs> It'd make uh, quite the back lot of trailers outside if it didn't give you some control, wouldn't it? <laughs> Then they get a big Mack truck again, an older vehicle. This looks cool. But again, with Giants modelling, I mean, even look at the rims. It's not just a flat chrome thing now. That actually looks real to me. And I suffer these wheels nearly every day at work because they're attached to the trucks that come in to visit me. And seeing it look like that, it's little things like that that really do bring it to life. Because uh, I can't remember what they called it now, but since it's been highlighted at the last presentation when was that one farmcom i've noticed all the little white marks at the edges of the models now for the speculars and stuff it's i can't unsee it once it's been pointed out so seeing it now in fs22 where it's not there and the model's looking sweet as yeah this is very impressive and again with the interiors oh how Good with that look. I'm just hoping all the gauges work. The Giants have started doing all the gauges now, so <laughs> I can't see why it wouldn't. But even at the front of the bonnet, you've got the little wind deflector. <laughs> and the mirrors are looking good on that as well. All about the mirrors. As I spend a lot of time in cab. If the mirrors aren't set up right, it's very frustrating. There is a mod out there to adjust them. And I do mean to put it on, I just keep forgetting. If you do that, I drag them at a GE. Fix them properly. <laughs> Just looking good. And we will finish on this particular view, showing off the lighting. I think this is yeah October, so it's in autumn. You've got the two little leaves in the top right. Look, it's just a good looking picture. That. And so far, I am enjoying the Gamescom revelations. I hope you guys are too. So the link for the actual live stream by Giants is in the first one in the description. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Tearing it apart as usual. <laughs> Got to be done. I'm really impressed. I am so looking forward to this game. The, the season pass is out as well now. And I think there is a buy the season pass and the game for a little discount. I think. Could be wrong.
more investigations. I will let you know when I actually get around to pre-ordering. I need the wage first. <laughs> but on that note, guys, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We will catch you next time. Laters. <laughs>